Okay. In 2019, if you would have came to me and said Sleepy Joe Biden was going to win the, the presidency in 2020 with more votes than any presidential candidate in history and Obama, I'd have told you it was a whacked out conspiracy theorist and to get the hell out of my bar. But he did. So some conspiracies are true, right? If you would have told me in 2020 there was going to be a virus and everything was going to close down, you weren't going to have a job, you were going to put a mask on, I would have looked at you in your eyes and said, does Bill Gates have anything to do with this vaccine? How would I have known that? How would I have known that? Huh? Because I've been paying attention to conspiracy theories pretty much my whole life. Now, everybody in 2020 got on the, uh, you know, that one letter. Everybody got on that. And everybody's behind it. And it got fantastical. It got so crazy. This thing about listening to, to fan, uh, conspiracy theories is sometimes they can get over bloated and distorted. And people can be YouTubers and all kinds of people get stuff and they can get fantastical because they want to get views and whatever. So you have to be careful when you watch them. Really, when you watch them, keep them in mind, okay? Keep them in the back of your mind. Like with the Bill Gates thing, I wasn't running around, oh, Bill Gates. But when it happened, when COVID came, I was kind of like, oh, you know? <laughs> and I started putting together pieces of the puzzle. And I'm like, okay, okay, this is what they've been saying. I didn't run out and say anything. I didn't post anything online. I just kept my ear to the ground. And... Now what you want to do with that movement of all these conspiracy theories that came out in 2020, you know what I'm talking about, um, the CUE, um, I'm not saying that's all true, but you can see how they can get it distorted and come out with a bunch of fake accounts and they grouped them all together and just banned everybody, said they were a bunch of fools or whatever. And what you want to kind of do is see, does people get freaked out by it? Who got freaked out in 2020? A lot of Hollywood actors disappear, you didn't see anything, usually they, they come and they support the, the Democratic candidate, they do whatever, they were kind of silent. You know, and then what happened? What, what was it saying it was going to do? It was saying a bunch of stuff about it was going to do a bunch of human trafficking and all this stuff and kind of see, did anybody get pressured by it? And one of the things that really gave it a, a launching pad was when the president did that uh, interview with Savannah, um, that lady that was full on Karen when that, uh, I think she was wearing that pink dress or pink outfit. She went full on Karen and went to the president of the United States and asked him basically if he believed in SAS. Quatch. You go to the President of the United States and ask him if he believes in Sasquatch, basically. And that's when I really started to get my attention, because I didn't know about it much before 2020, but it really got my attention because you're asking the President during a presidential debate, basically, if he believes in some kind of fantastical thing, which you've censored a bunch of people, you know, told everybody that it's basically hunting for Sasquatch. Um, so after that, I kind of Looked at the whole picture of 2020. And this is what you need to do. Look at the whole picture. Who freaked out? And what did they do to silence it all? Eventually, in November. What did they do? Just saying. Okay? Conspiracy, whatever. Just saying. What happened? What events happened over 2020 that something got real silent and censored? Okay? So did anybody get freaked out? Now, that's how you want to look at these conspiracies. Because if you start following them, you know what's going to happen to you? And you start acting on them, you're going to end up in the Capitol in a damn buffalo suit, screaming at the top of your lungs, okay? <laughs> that's how far it got some people, okay? But that's the universe, too. Now I want to use the buffalo guy again, because when these politicians start talking about, oh, they stormed the Capitol, we got to take their rights, we got to do all this stuff, oh, all the stuff we had to go through with BLM, that was the best thing ever, because now when you see them freaking out about the guy storming the Capitol, oh, just remember, who ran in that thing? A bunch of idiots taking selfies and a damn guy in a buffalo suit, all right? So be careful when you're watching these conspiracy theories. Just see how they tie in, kind of get pieces of the puzzle, and just keep them in the back of your mind. Don't end up the Buffalo guy in the Capitol building. All right? Peace out.